So we have mentors. Would you have you heard about our mentors? I have. Have you chosen a mentor? So what I wrote in what I did my pathway was that I wanted a mentor and I, I had no preference as to whether it was a man or a woman. I just wanted somebody that had some experience in Toastmasters. Okay. Is there a specific skill you're looking to work at in Toastmasters? To specifically help me manipulate, maneuver, and navigate Toastmasters. <coughs> okay. So this question, you're going to like this question. The question is, are mentors still effective with multiple mentees? <coughs> why or why not, Jim? What was the question again? Are mentors still effective with multiple mentees? Why or why not? Oh, fantastic. There's no doubt about the fact that a mentor, in some ways, is a coach. And there aren't too many coaches who only coach one athlete. And when you're a mentor or a coach, you have to be really, really flexible. I learned that just the other night. Some of you may be aware that I am a baseball umpire. On one night, I might be umpiring a high school game at Steinbrenner High School. The next night, I might be umpiring three to six-year-olds at Forest Hills. And lo and behold, about a week ago, that is exactly what I was doing. It was the Shetland game. And the Shetland had, this group is three to six years old, and they put in place this year an all-girls team. The coaches played softball together. They're really, really good coaches. I heard some of the instructions they were giving to the, uh, to the girls. What was interesting is the first instruction they gave about five minutes before the game. Now girls, remember the game is going to be starting in about five minutes if you have to go to the bathroom. I said, what kind of coach is that you have to tell kids to go to the bathroom? Then about two innings later, one of the boys had a little bit of an accident. The coach of that team came over and started to talk to me as the only umpire and the other coach and said, listen, our, our guy on first base, he peed in his pants. Can we just put any runner in there to take care of him? So sometimes when you're a coach or a mentor, it might just be the simple things. It might be, don't forget to go to the bathroom. Or it might just be, you're really doing a fantastic job. You're facing that fear and you're doing it very, very well. Nobody can see your knees knocking. Nobody knows that you're nervous. I think you're really connecting to your audience. And what you need to do is just do more of that. 